Good afternoon, Vikas Chopra here live. Uh, just want to give you a warm welcome to the show, training for employment and personal development. That's what we're here for. That's what we're going to talk about today. And I uh, just want to say hello, good afternoon, and happy new year to you all. How are you all today? Happy new year to you. Happy new year to those guys listening in. Happy new year to those guys that are going to watch the program later. And happy new year to you. And I hope it's going really, really well for you today. I wonder how your day's been. If you want to comment in and uh, you want to tune in and uh, put something in in, the, in our comments box, feel free to. Yeah, so some, I just want to say a happy new year to you, 2021. And uh, today's program, it's the first one of the year. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, something interesting as normal, as usual. We always take out something very, very interesting in order for you to get the development and training you need in order for you to come to the right direction so that you can progress yourself. Yes, it's Vikas Chopra and uh, my number is 07932604705. You can WhatsApp me and I will definitely get back to you uh, in connection with your inquiries or you can either call the show if you want to, 457-01902-457-875 if you want to, I'll happily communicate with you. So I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Our email is excellencetrain at outlook.com. The whole purpose, the whole purpose of today's program, the whole purpose of all the programs is to focus on your development, your personal development and your training for employment or whichever direction you're taking. And we have a list of programs that are available to you which are free. So what I would like you to do is uh, take note as we go through the programs. What I'm also going to be doing is be chopping some of the programs down uh, and I'll be putting a lot of clips up so you can listen in onto bits and pieces. I do appreciate the fact that uh, sometimes some people uh, may be struggling to listen to a whole hour but if you are if you are free this is a program that is worth listening to. It is a program that is going to empower you it's a program that's going to put you in the right direction. Whether you are a company owner, whether you are unemployed, or whether you are employed, or whether you're looking for any kind of career change. So this is the kind of program that is going to give you the support you need. And yes, you're speaking to Vikas Chopra, and you can uh, give us a call and get in touch with me at any given time. So today's session, uh, we're going to be talking about our available courses. I'm going to um, be not controversial, but um, there's a lot of people and a lot of information going about, a lot of people speaking their own minds, and some people are, I'm not saying they're, they're extremely opinionated, but I'm just going to talk on uh, some of the views that I have and how I look at things with regards to equilibrium and balance. So, um, uh, and then we're also going to be looking at the purpose of this program today is going to be to make sure that you can start thinking maybe a little bit more differently. And by listening into the program, you can start taking on board uh, maybe another perspective that's going to change your mindset. The whole idea of all these programs are to ensure that you can gain some personal development and gain uh, some training as well and also get in touch with me to see what we have available for you uh, and not only that but to help you start thinking about things that you are considering for the new year start thinking about how you want to move forward and we know we're in this uh, lockdown period time period and things are very very difficult and we also know that um, a lot of people are suffering as well you know and uh, what I want to try and do is sort of impart uh, some alternative perspective on how we can sort of captivate our thought processes and be in better control of the way we think and how we can be more resourceful with our method methodologies as well so there is a method to my madness today and um, and it's 
it's um, it's inspired by you know it's inspired by fear and equilibrium and how people are maybe panicking a little bit with this current situation of the lockdown or maybe how people are not feeling 100% within themselves with what's going on. So I'm going to try and give you some information today and uh, just to maybe change, not change, but maybe help you to consider an, an alternative perspective on how you can take control of what you should be doing. Because we all face problems and there's a, there's a lot of people out there talking about this and there's a lot of people talking about that. But then they bring up all these issues and all these problems, but what they don't come up with is some sort of solution. So it's a solution-based type focus on what you need to be thinking about for yourself. All right, so um, I don't think, think back to an experience of a, uh, an individual that was told that um, he might have AIDS. This is in a foreign country. This guy was told that he might have AIDS. So what did he do? He decided to <clears throat> he decided to um, get extremely concerned with his health, and he spoke to his wife and the children. He was very very concerned because he might have AIDS and he decided to with the agreement of his wife he didn't want to leave his children behind and didn't want to leave his wife behind because he was worried about himself and he decided to uh, really think about his predicament and focus and focus and focus on it. Maybe that's what you do sometimes. You think about your predicament and focus and consider. See, it's very, very easy for you to get into a, a terrible state of mind. And that's what he did. Thinking about the consequences, thinking about leaving his children behind. And he decided to he decided to um, um, try and commit suicide, and I was, I've used the word try, with his wife and children. And sadly, this guy, he did kill his wife and child, but then he didn't have the strength, the courage to take his own life. And he had a bit of a breakdown after that. And what emerged, astoundingly, what emerged from the whole situation is that he never even had AIDS. He was told that he might have AIDS. And um, what a sad situation. What a sad situation for him. What a sad situation for his children and what a sad situation for his wife. So sometimes yeah and I'm talking about fear fear is very very dangerous when people now I, I always say this we are driven by two forces that is pain and pleasure and the fear hits into the pain bracket we are driven by those two forces and also uh, fear for us Watching the TV, watching the news, watching the figures, watching all these things, watching the headlines, going out panic buying, panicking, people telling you there's a new strain of virus and it's even more deadlier how spreadable it is. Now I'm not going to get too, I'm not going to say there isn't, but what I'm trying to focus on here is the information you get and how you use the information and how you change your focus upon using that information oh even more people are gonna die now we've got this new strain of virus well millions of people were supposed to die before and I'm not saying that um, people aren't dying 
What I'm trying to say here, and I'll say this again, where is your focus? What are you focusing on with this information? Because the reality is suicides have gone out the roof. Domestic violence has gone out the roof. I myself have felt from business, from a business point of view, with the work that I do, my part of my work is non-existent. Now I'm not blaming anybody and I'm not blaming the government either or anything like that. But what I'm talking about is with the fear that is going around, where is your focus? What are you focusing on right now? And also, fear, believe it or not, will raise up your cortisol level, narrow your arteries. If you've got a heart condition and you're in fear, if you've got heart issues and you're in fear, I'm telling you now, your emotions of fear will only cause illness and damage. So it's very, very important. I mean, today's program and the purpose of the program today is about is about focusing on and you thinking about how you handle your fear, how you're going to handle all this information coming to you. Are you going to be so fearful that it's going to start to impact on your health. When I had someone that was in fear of going to work because he was being bullied, he was so in fear that he actually became ill. So fear, equilibrium of information, and I've already just mentioned mental health has gone out the roof, suicides have gone out the roof, domestic violence have gone out the roof, all these things, all these impacts, and not only that, People are struggling to pay economically their mortgages. They are really, really struggling. So it's very, very important. And I'm not attacking anybody here by all means. Yeah? What I'm saying is that you need to manage, captivate your own mind. Captivate what you've got in there and use whatever's coming to you wisely. If you're getting information and you're learning about things, there's always a better way of doing something. So you need to learn to use the information wisely and not concentrate because fear will drive you to the worst. Yeah? Fear will drive you to the worst. Are you are you a fearer? Yeah? Or are you a firer? Yeah? Which one are you gonna be? Are you gonna fire yourself up and motivate people? Or are you gonna use this fear to constantly think about it and what happens when you get depressed what do you do don't you constantly think about the same thing over and over again that you constantly play it in your mind maybe it as a movie maybe something that hasn't happened because you're worried and you get an anxiety about it so I want you to consider and think about how you are handling and how you're gonna move forward 2021 fearless strong, mighty, how are you going to move that, how are you going to move yourself with fear, okay, so fear, where are you with your fear, all these things are going on, now I'm the kind of person, I'm the kind of person that likes to focus on, what you have is reactivity and you have proactivity so people will say things so there'll be you could either react to them or you can be a bit more proactive about them so you need to decide whether you're going to be reactive or proactive Ankit uh, how you doing sir how you doing Ankit Jai Guru Dev to you as well I hope you're well anybody want to put a comment in if you've got any uh, if you've got any uh, comments with regards to what I'm talking about equilibrium balance and fear how we need to be balanced very often when we get scared or we go through an incident